Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Very free. Good breeze. Well, just right in here, but outside. <laughs> oh, chilly willy. Well, too bad. You need good airflow circulation around the affected area. Have you applied all your creams and potions? Yes, I have, thank you. But can we change the topic, please? I don't want to draw attention to myself. Well, why were you manscaping, then? He was going for the smooth Adonis look. Mm, to match Desi's demigod. Who? She's dating a supermodel. We don't know what he is. Well, she's blocked me, but Prince will show you a picture. Oh, yes, please. No. I don't know, we've got to see the competition. Look, this is how the whole thing started. Damo compares himself to other men. Next minute, we're in ED, crying. Uh, oh, yes. It's very tidy. That is a tough act to follow. Gee, thanks, guys. What? Took me ages to cheer this guy up. Get the right lover lover, the right jandals, sandals. Not like what you've done. Oh, sorry. Yeah, dizzy who? Well, she's moved on, hasn't she? Doesn't want to be with a hairy yeti with a burnt wizard. Hey, don't talk about yourself like that. It's the truth. Painkillers, huh? <laughs> peed all over me, the wall, the floor. So this is why they should give us hazmat mm. gear. <laughs> Something funny? <laughs> Tales from the trenches. Nursing. Um, being a mum. Did you get my message? Yes. Any, any thoughts on lunch? I'm busy, sorry. Are you okay? I designing and texting and phoning. Ooh. And texting and phoning and texting. So now she's a deranged stalker and an abuser of telecommunications. I didn't say that. But I did. Point is, ignoring the phone is one thing. Avoiding colour at work is another. Exactly. Chris Warner. He's a fool keeping her on. Yeah, I can't help but think that you're right. Could you just say, your mother's right? Mark this day, Maeve. <laughs> Today's a day of miracles. <laughs> Chris isn't a fool, but he was fooled by Carla, kind of like I was. Mm. And so were you. Only one who wasn't fooled was you. I didn't like to say, but yes, I spotted the malignancy a mile off. I can't help but feel sorry for her, though. But no, don't go there. No, Nicole. Any sympathy is a slippery slope. Next thing you'll be plaiting each other's hair and swapping friendship bracelets. I'm right again, aren't I, Maeve? Oh. Yeah. On second thoughts, Tess, I'm not really hungry. Carla. I don't need your charity. Oh, just leave me alone. Hey, Nick. I know that you're my boss, but that wasn't very nice. I know. Sorry. Are you? Because it's not the first time. There's more going on than you know, Tess. You'd be wise to avoid that woman yourself. She's a nasty piece of work. The only thing nasty around here is your behaviour. Do they smell off to you? They smell like flowers. Not too sweet and sticky? No. Hmm. Something wrong? Oh, well, I'm not sure. I was already rattled by that awful Carla, and I was about to deliver these when I caught a whiff of something sweet and sticky and vaguely nauseating floating in the corridor. I thought I had a bad bunch of blooms, so I rang Roz for replacements, but you're the third person that said they smell fine. They're fine. Oh, well. Now they're going spare. Do you want them? Free to good home. <laughs> sure. Maybe I can give them to Eddie. Really? Have you two got something cooking again? No, no, quite the opposite. So why the floral gesture? To say sorry, he asked me to go see his dad and I said no. Willie, is he back in town? Not quite. His girlfriend's here. And... Dilwyn? Yeah, that's it. Dilwyn Belcher? I have no idea. She's the sticky smell. It's her cheap trampy 80s perfume. She stunk up Tauranga and now she's stinking up here. I take it you don't like her very what much. What the dickens is she doing here? Seeing Eddie. Without Willie? Oh, no, 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 no. A leopard never changes its spots. And neither does Delwyn. She's up to something. I'm going to find out what. And this little man is... Oh, he's such a little Willie. <laughs> you think? Oh, yeah. He's got your dad's eyes, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> so where did you and Willie meet? Oh, well, across a crowded pub, of course. <laughs> Actually, is anyone else thirsty? Right, sure. Uh, water, juice? Oh, no, I'm not fussy. Wine or beer will be fine. Wine it is. Beer, Eddie? Cheers. Dinner will be ready soon. Oh, awesome. I could eat a horse and chase the jockey. <laughs> <laughs> so what brings you to Ferndale, darling? Oh, I wanted to meet Willie's mini-me and his mini-mini-me. 
plus some shopping and hospital tests. You're not well? No, I'm just not feeling myself, you know? Well, you can get the test done at home. Oh, of course, yeah. Well, this mole at Waikato thought I was drug-seeking just because of this one time. Oh, OK, two times. So stuff her in a, in a hospital. <laughs> I'll get it. Nice place you got here. Thank you. What did it cost you? Mum, <laughs> hi. Oh, hello, darling. I was just passing. Oh, oh, you have a guest. Oh. Hello, Leanne. Delwyn Belcher. As I live and breathe cheap perfume. What, you two know each other? All too well. Well, actually, Leanne, we're just about to eat, so Lovely. maybe... I could eat a horse and the shifty little trollop who rode in on it. Can I get you something else, maybe? Oh. I'm sorry, doll. I just can't think why I lost my appetite. And I can't think why you're sniffing around my family. Come on. Can you lay off, please? Oh, God. I'm sorry. Belcher by name. Oh, come on, Leanne. Spit it out. You gutted because I got your man. Oh, actually, Delwyn, I have no interest whatsoever in Willie. <laughs> I'm a lesbian now. Eh? Mm, Ros and I couldn't be happier. Isn't that right, Maeve? Sure. He yeah, wants well, so quit having a go and leave me alone. And you leave my Eddie alone. Hey, I don't need protecting. Can we not do this now? Well, she was a kid when she first threw herself at Willie, underage jailbait, with a <laughs> horrible hair scrunchy. No wonder he ran a mile. Oh, <laughs> Willie didn't run away. He was dragged away by you. Mutton dressed as Leanne in an ugly yellow dress. I love that yellow dress. And so did Willie. Yeah, well, he loves me now. Oh, rubbish. You tracked him down after 30 years and you finally, you've got your grubby little hooks into him. And now he's kicked you out, hasn't he? Mum. So no. you're chasing after his... You're chasing after his son instead. Isn't that it? Is that it? Isn't it? No, that's crazy. Well, you don't know her like I do. Are you OK? Oh, I don't... You know, I just don't feel right. No. Oh. Delwyn, you can't squirm your way out of this one. I'm on to your sick and twisted little game. Oh. Delwyn. Oh. oh! Fake news. This is real, yes, Leanne. So shut up. You've done enough damage already. Oh, deep breaths, oh. please. Okay, okay, we're gonna lay down. Deep breaths. 